this work? It's the MS3 Pro, tuning cable, uh, vacuum line, USB, all the instructions here. I've got a connector here. I think that is it. So I guess let's go ahead and uh, start taking out the old one. The old one's located here on the passenger side. Pull back the carpets. So it's pretty easy to take this off here. Just got a couple Phillips here. As you twist, you have to hold the outer. You can, you'll see it kind of pop up a little bit and stick something underneath. Pull that out and then it'll just come right out. So we've got this one here. I'm not sure. So this one's got a little barb in here. You just push that in and then lose it somewhere in there apparently. All you have to do is pull this up here. Start from the back and then work your way forward. Yep, there it is. It all comes out like that. So then you peel back the carpet and that's where your ECU is. Okay. Ready to be put back in. Actually, before we do that, we should probably run that vacuum line. So we got that all in place there. We got a boost reference up there. This is our tuner cable here. For now, it's in place, it's ready to go. Now we just need to download some software on the computer and see what we get. All right, so with the ECU inside now, I just want to remove this to go there. It is, we're just confirming that the zero degree mark on there is accurate to where at the center is, which it is. All right guys, so I've been troubleshooting here for quite a while trying to figure out. So I did get kind of a first startup. It wouldn't idle unless I gave it gas. I forgot that I didn't wire the wideband up to the ECU. So that's what our issue is. And on this one, the, oh brand is, uh, it's the Innov Innovative SCG-1. It's the yellow wire, that's your signal wire here. Obviously it's not wired up, it's just right here. So I need to wire this to the connector that we had over there. Um, so let me wire this pigtail up down there. All right, we're gonna go for first start. Well, second, we'll see if we can fire it up. I hooked up the wide band like we're supposed to, and hopefully it starts. It hasn't, the battery's been dead, so we'll see. We are headed right now to FTW Tuning. That's where we've done, man, this camera's so close. That's where we've done uh, all the dyno pulls. Andy there is the owner. Um, I talked to him, uh, I think it was earlier during the week um, as I was kind of messing around with the Mega Squirt. I just, I don't know enough about tuning to actually tune this thing. He knows what he's doing. So we're actually headed there right now.
guys we're wrapping up for today we will be back we've got some more research to do on this thing some of those actuators weren't working so we were only getting uh, partial boost um, but I think we're gonna wrap up for the day and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one